Welcome back to Morning Express. It is now just about 25 minutes to nine, and here are some of the stories that are making headlines. NTSA conducted a crackdown early this morning on drunk driving along Mombasa Road, and our reporter Brian Obuya was there and filed the following report. Earlier yesterday, we had uh, officials from the National Transport and Safety Authority conduct a crackdown along the Nairobi-Nakuru Highway. Now, in that crackdown, they sought to arrest drivers without proper documentation. Now, this morning, we joined uh, those members from the National Transport and Safety Authority in conducting a crackdown uh, uh, along, the, along Mombasa Road. Now, where we're standing right now is uh, at the Nyayo roundabout, at the Nyayo Stadium roundabout. Now, this crackdown did not take place here. But why exactly we are standing here is because of one of one of those major crimes, or offenses rather, whereby drivers are, are, are driving over the spikes. Right behind me, you see a vehicle, the Range Rover, that is trying to be towed away with some two, three traffic police officers. Now, that vehicle was involved, is one among the many that... Uh, uh, that uh, ran over the NTSA set spikes. Uh, that vehicle also did hit, uh, uh, did hit an NTSA uh, official on the ground. I'm a bonga mutu. Now, we have those pictures, and the pictures you see on your screen right now, you can clearly see that the airbags are completely out. Uh, it, uh, the vehicle also bearing a uh, Ugandan number plate uh, had, some, uh, three, some, had some three occupants. We have not been able to know whether they were Kenyans or, or Ugandans, uh, but uh, we also witnessed a very tough exchange of words between uh, those who were occupants in that vehicle. Now, if Timon, you're just able to give us that uh, shot there, you see the vehicle is completely written off on, this, uh, on, the, on the front side. The occupants and many others who were arrested this morning over drunk driving are currently being held at the Langata police station uh, pending the arraignment in court. Uh, the occupants of that Range Rover, after running over the spikes and hitting an NTSA official, running away and uh, causing an accident about seven minutes later, uh, they also tried running away. In the pictures you see on your screen, police officers bringing them back and booking them. Uh, from the shots you see on your screen again, the driver of that vehicle was way above uh, the alcohol content uh, of 0 0.35. This, uh, the pictures as you see, you can see clearly that uh, they are indicating 0 0.57, which is way above uh, the recommended level. Final pictures there of the vehicle being towed away. That is not the only vehicle that was found with that uh, crime or rather offense uh, this morning. And uh, that has almost been the trend every other time NTSA is setting up a crackdown on uh, a drunk driving or even drivers without proper documentation. And uh, we only hoping that uh, this type of behavior, this uh, type of uh, high-end uh, impunity is coming to an end uh, as time.